Okay, I'm back. Um, so this is the third and final part um, of today. This is the second file folder. I'll do the first one uh, with you. So I've just put a book plate in. I've not put anything <coughs> there yet. And I've just stuck um, the pieces down. I've put that pocket in, put that pocket in, that one and the slotted one. And then the envelope there. So that's that. So, and that's all the pieces uh, ready for it. Okay, so we'll just have a quick look at the pieces because um, I have got a list on the Facebook group and like I say, I've got um, a whole Edith Olden um, list. Obviously, you haven't got to make the same type pieces. Uh, it's just to give you an idea. So that's a writing board that I did. That's a, a tag what actually I made to go behind that um, and I'm not using it for that now it'll go in in another pocket so that's that um we've got a little uh vellum bag and i think this is a decoupage um tag inside if i remember right so that's a little decoupage tag so that's that it's a skinny notebook you'll have to excuse my fingers i'm covered in glue <coughs> that's um a window pocket it's um, the different one to what I've got on the list. Um, but it is, again, in the play... Um, I was going to say in the PlayStation. In the playlist. Uh, those wallpapers are from Lorna at Taylor May Journals. Did use a lot of uh, Lorna's. I think that's a Lorna's, one of her lace papers. Um, I did use a lot of Lorna's wallpapers when I was doing um, the Edith Holden um, series. Uh what I did and it fitted in lovely and then there's a little one there okay so that's that one a little tag there these are some tags that Violet made for me lovely and there's a couple of tags they're not on the playlist um on Facebook but they are on the playlist um on YouTube and this piece again there's a playlist for that on YouTube and all the playlists will be in in the description I can't get that in that's it so they're the pieces that I'm going to be using inside it let's just put that that way so I'm not clipping them pearls and I'll clip that and pop those in there for when we do the next part okay so i'll just get rid of that and we're left with this one so again same same um, pieces just just different so no pad that's the um original window pocket the bag tag and a writing board so we don't need we don't need them for for now so pop those there so let's have a look at these pieces so we'll start off <coughs> lay that there and lay that there to remind me which way that they go so this is number one folder and this is our front, so I'm going to find the front piece, which is the beautiful fox glove, and the back piece, which is that one. And I'm going to use Kalau. So you want a nice wet wet glue uh, for this. So Kalau, I think PVA would probably um, suffice. Depends, I suppose, what PVA you've got but yeah I'm very happy with with Kalau I used to do all this kind of thing with um three and one and to be quite honest um I've made this when I finished these I'll have made four Edith Alden folders and I'd have probably used um a full thing of three and one um so it, it's you know it's way too expensive so the Kalau is half half the price not very good for fabric but for sticking large pieces down like this it is great let's just bring that in a little bit I forgot about that 
divot bit there. I don't know if you even call them like divots. So I think that's straight-ish. But we're not looking for perfection. <coughs> if, um, you know, as long as it, it's straight-ish, it, it's not worth, <coughs> worth getting stressed out over. Um, overall, it will be beautiful. And, you know, I'm not going to be looking... Um, where it's not exactly um, straight. You know, my mats won't be exactly straight. I know people who have come from um, a card, you know, making cards and... Um, <clears throat> no, not so much making cards, sorry. Um, like scrapbooking and stuff, who are used to, you know, doing these precise mats. Um, they're very good at it. And, you know, they're very good at the measuring and, and all the rest of it. And, yeah, you know, that's just not, not me. I've not got that... Um, that background I've not got any background in in paper craft um, this is you know this is my background <laughs> this is me so I'm just trying to make sure that you know it's similar similar ish don't want to go over this middle part and I think that will be fine. So, oh, I do it every time. I forget to put the book plate on. Every single time I've had to take the book plate off and put it on. I think I'm going to have it there. I think I like it there, though. Oh, I like it there. Oh, what do we think? Quick, before it sticks. So, yeah, that was something I meant to say before I started. Um, if you're putting a book plate on, maybe you want to think about doing it <coughs> now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first hole in there. I'm gonna, I will pause after I've done and clean my desk up. And I've just got a little brad which my fingers are so stuck up that <laughs> it's rather difficult. So let's pop that in there. Okay. Just open it up. I'm not going to push it flat, flat down yet because I need to <coughs> get it straight. So the first one, I just, <coughs> you know, pop in um, and then I will straighten it up and just pop a hole in just pop the other brad in find the hole that's like that let's make sure it's straight and it's felt through that's okay so yeah if you're putting a book plate on put it on before but yeah, every single one I've had to do this. I don't feel like I'm in the same same hole. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's open this up. Let's check that it is straight. Before you've tightened them, you can just manipulate them a little, a little bit, you know, without tearing your paper. That looks that looks straight. Right, it's a bit up. Let's. fine and then I'll stick it down again so yeah but it would have been a shame to not put one on the last one but yeah I even got a mat and set them on the desk so that I would see them <laughs> to remind me to do that first oh dear me so yeah there's twice as much glue okay I think that'll do I'm not going to put the folder there. I'm just going to do it up here because I do need to wipe, wipe my desk. It's just, it's just off a little bit. I 
like how how much you can slide um slide it. Okay, let's, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just gonna get my brayer and <coughs> I'm just gonna brayer it down. If you don't have a brayer, you really don't need need a brayer, but to be honest, I do find it really handy and I do pull it out um, a lot. But, you know, you can do this this with your hand. It's just pressing, pressing and rubbing. So, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, I'm back. So, that's the um, front done and then we're going to do the back. So, let's think that's going there. Yeah, so I'm going to get that stuck down uh, straight away. Don't go too close to the edge with, with this glue because it is quite wet. Um, it does have a tendency to squash out. But if it does squash out, if you just rub it really fast, um, it all kind of balls up and you can, can get rid of it. And it doesn't leave the shiny residue like um, fabric tack Let's just check that. Yep, that's fine. So again, I'm going to bray it from the back. That's that. So that will go there. And on the back. Now, I'm not using this as um, an envelope that's going to have a side or a top. This is going to be totally sealed. If you wanted to, then cut cut down the side um so obviously when i'm sticking the mat on this one i'm just going to stick the glue totally over the back if i was using it as um you know a top or a side i would glue it down there which you'll see um on one of the next ones and glue it around there and not put any glue on there because otherwise you know you're only going to be able to get your card into there okay so is that that piece? No, it isn't. Is that it? Yeah, that must be it. Tall, thin back envelope. That is it. Yeah, definitely is. Big envelope back. No, it's not that one. Okay. So glue all this down so where I've sewn them I do try and get a little bit of glue onto the stitching I think it just needs a little bit extra to, to anchor it down that's what I wanted to say so that will do I hope I've got enough glue. I've got another one that I can, a big one that I can fill it up with. But I don't really want to have to do that now this minute. So that's fine there. Just keeping it out that that edge a little bit, making sure I'm not going over um, that end. And just, you know, making sure it looks, looks straight-ish. So that's that. And that is going to go in there like so okay so before i go any further i'm just going to put something down here just to give it a little bit more um stability and i'm going to use this framers tape um you could just stick another piece of uh, paper down there um you know, it doesn't have to be mega thick because it's going to have some lace um, at the front of it, at the front of the file folder. So that will give it some stability um, as well. So this is just just to give it a little bit, a little bit more. Let's see if any scissors or I'll cut this. Try and 
Oh, to cut through the file folder. What's that? Shall I? <laughs> I'm going to put my hand there. Oh, I don't know why I didn't just take it a little bit further so I don't have to cut that off. Yeah, that's fine. So that'll just give it a little bit more uh, stability. And we're going to stick this inside. So I'm just going to cover it flap. Go all the way. Like so. I'm going to just open it up, place it in. All I'm doing is pressing down. I can see that it's at the bottom and I can see where the fold is because I've inked it and I'm just going to pop it in just till it, you know, till there's a little bit of, of resistance. I don't want to shove it, you know, all in. I just want it to be there uh, where it naturally falls folds that's not the right word but um, I'm sure I'm sure you know what, what I mean okay so we'll just give that <laughs> give it a break okay so this panel is going to be this one but I'm not putting that on yet because I'm going to do the envelopes so this envelope was a big one and we cut it down so it comes to about there and we've opened this side okay so let's have a look big envelope wide front so that's going to be the front of it so I can just stick the front on with that <coughs> without thinking about it yeah I think I'm gonna have to fill my glue up I've got some PVA on the table but um yeah it's it's only a cheap one, I don't think I'd want to use it um, for this. Okay. Yep. So I'll just lay that on. Now, on this one, I'm going to push the picture more to the opening of the envelope because it's going to be a and I think it will just give the envelope just a bit more um, strength on that corner it's a bit of a wonky piece this is it's either a wonky envelope or a wonky piece so yeah it's definitely on the wonk <laughs> it's a wonky donkey right so oh, that's fine there Brea. Okay, so that's the front part. So the back is this one, and that's going to go on there. And with this one, we're going to use the art glitter, and we're going to go round the opening, not too far into the opening, so it's not you know sponging over there when flatten it down now i won't go over this with the brayer i will just rub this with my hands because i don't want to squash the glue you know too far and i'm going to put a line of glue up here to catch the side okay and then i'm going to go all the way Then I'm going to fill in with the colour out. Okay, I've not gone too near the edge because I'm going to go down this with this. I'm going to go down this side with this as well. Okay, so I'm going to place that there 
where we've put the glue on the envelope. Push it up a little bit. It's just a little. What's that? I'm gonna bray it this side. I think I might have to just poke some fabric side down down here. Yep. Right, so that is still open. Like so, and that will be the front part, and then this part is going to go inside of that one and it opens that way. So, on the front of this, <coughs> we've got our lovely butterfly picture. Goodness, that came out in a big gulp. I think um, that's like the last bit. Did you see where that big gunk of glue went? Let me get this on and have a look. Yeah, it's all like um, volcanoed, volcanoed out. So, did I say that this envelope has got a top um, opening? All I did was just slice the thinnest uh, bit off the top. Can we see that? I think it was sticking over that anyway. Right. So, what's that? Let's give that a. Okay. Okay. So, this part we're going to have to glue carefully again because, like I say, the top is cut. So I cut all across the top and then all I did was I stuck that piece back down. I'm just going to stick it there. Okay. So we're going to go around here. Let's just get that bit of plate there. Go around here. Then I'm not going to go too close to the edge because I'm not sure how far the mat will come over. And then I'm going to put on just in front of the crease. Okay. Where's this piece? It's here. So it's our text piece. So I'm going to make sure that that's not encroaching on that. Okay. Even though I can't see, you know, like, because it's only got a thin top, you kind of know that it's going to run um, in a thin, thin line. So that is that. Let's hope that we've got enough here to just have a terrible thought that I would put that on upside down, but I haven't. Yeah, it just goops out when it's at the end. It's not a goopy glue, and that's why I do like it. So I was a bit surprised when it did gunk out. So again, I'm just going to open this up as not to get glue everywhere. And 
I can see that it's the same. Uh, it finishes the same. I can see the crease because that's where I've inked. Just have a look how that closes and that's fine. So let's just open, open it up. And just give that oh. Okay, so that piece will now go in there. Yep. Right, I'm going to pause, I'm going to clean my bottle and I'm going to fill it back up. See the tech. Okay, I'm back. I'm full up. Right, so we need to glue this one in. Let's open that one, make sure it wasn't stuck down. And it would help if I open the cap. Okay. Once again, I'm going to pop that in. You can see that it's right at the bottom. Lovely there. Now I think with this one, I've not done it on the others, but <clears throat> whoops, I'm gonna try and take this off. I'm not gonna try, I, I am gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take it off. Um and see what the consequence is, or if there is a consequence. Sorry if you can't see, but what I'm trying to do is just get these last little bits off. Okay, let's um, see if I can just get that with the ink. So that will have then weakened that that side so I don't I think what I'm gonna do is bring that tape back in and I'm gonna catch it there and go to the bottom like so and you could do this on on all your creases um sometimes I've done it uh, where I've done all the creases just need to get that oh you can't see it anyway so that that's fine okay so that goes that way that goes that way so now <laughs> I'm gonna glue this down so I'm gonna glue the shortest piece onto the longest piece so we haven't got glue you know pluthering pluthering out so I am gonna go as near to the edge as a deer and then I'm going to go round the edges with the uh, art glitter. Sometimes I've made these into back pockets and things like that. Um, I do, well every single time I've made out of five folders I've done them different um, each time. And at the bottom of the Edith Alden playlist, um, there is some different Edith Alden files that, that I've done before. Some are just flip throughs, some are um, either craft alongs or tutorials. But yeah, I tend to do them different every time. It depends what envelopes I've got and, you know, what, what I've got and kind of pull out what I want to use and then see see how it'll fit together so 
so that should have done that let's <coughs> move that out of the way in case we get any squashes and i'm going to bring that up okay let's move it around oh that looks beautiful and we shall bray it I will go around at the very end and just, you know, make sure everything is totally uh, stuck, stuck down. So I think, you know, initially when you're doing it, you do, you do miss bits. So that's that. Quite happy with that. So that piece is going to go there because if you can see, we've got picture, text, picture, text. And then it goes text, picture, and it goes picture, 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 but, <clears throat> but again, that's why I do like to, to lay them out and think what pieces are going, going where. Now, if you've got some Edith Holden, but not loads, um, and you're looking for, <clears throat> you know, a, perhaps a kit to go, go with it, um, the Wildflowers by uh, My Porch Prince is a very uh, nice kit that goes really well with Edith Holden. It's got a lot of pinks and purples and yellows in it. Um, and it's a very, you know, this creamy um, colour. It, it goes lovely. And I did spot another kit. Um, oh, and I can't remember who it was. Oh. I had it in my head, you know, before I said it. Um, I will put it in the description. I will find it out and I will put the link to um, Wild Flowers and um, the kit that I was just thinking about. And also Lorna from Taylor Made Journals, she does, because the Wild Flower kit that um, is from My Porch Prints, it's from um, a book. Um, and I, I've actually got the sheets um, on, on the computer, um, what I um, downloaded. Um, I can't remember <coughs> what site they was from, but um, yeah, I've got the, you know, the real book pages, but digital. Um, anyway, so Lorna at Taylor Made Journals has got all the sheets where, you know, she's cleaned them up and whereas mine aren't, aren't clean, they're wonky and things like that. Um, so she has got all the um, actual pages which you could um, then just make your own ephemera with it. But um, the My Porch Prince has obviously got um, pages and background pages on the ephemera but it, it depends you know it depends what what you want so that is all those done quite happy um with that okay so that is um all the mats the mats done so we will put um the couple of pockets that we've got in so this one goes here so i'm just gonna glue it down three sides both, both sides and the bottom yeah and that's gonna go just there. You need to this is a bit wide this um envelope it just fits. So just make sure I'm not in that piece and I'm not not in that one. So that's that. So you'll be able to open that there's something there and there, or like I say make a different uh pocket. So let me think about this. I think I need to pull out a folder that I've done to remember. So I did this one um, the other way round because uh, the pocket went that way. 
um, it's exactly the same it's just <coughs> opposite it did throw me a little bit um, it being opposite oh this one I'd forgot to round the corners so I just round the round the corners yeah should just have enough ink on there just to and that's going to go uh, it's a shame about those dragonflies but um <coughs> Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> I can't say any more than that. But, you know, sometimes I can't get all the picture in. I think um, I did a pretty good job of, of um, you know, making the best of the paper. And I do think using the acetate does really help. Especially with me not really doing proper measuring. Okay, so that's that. Put plenty on. Um, where it's sewn just line that up the bottom and that should be should be fine so that's that one yep that one's come off let's put a bit more glue on I must have knocked it as I was putting that one on I need to put some. I don't want to put too too much on it. <laughs> It'd be too too wet. Right, that's fine at the bottom. That's fine there. That's fine there. Is it straight? Yeah. So we'll just leave that for now to dry. So this one um, has this pocket on here, yes it does, and again I'm going to round the corners, well the, the bottom corner should I say, and put some glue on. Is it Alana Scraps? I think that's where um, that that kit is. And it was um, a really pale kit. And um, Kelly from Crafts by Kelly has got a kit what would go nice with, with Edith Holden as well. So I will find those and I will put them in, in the descriptions. If, um, you know, you might just have one or two Edith pictures Um and then you could fill it um, with with a cat. That's if you're doing it um, in in Edith. So you can do the project in in whatever you want. But yeah, if you are a member of the Facebook group um, and you do any of the pieces or the old file folder, and you want to share them, feel free. Um, you can share your photos and you can uh, put a link to your video if you've got a YouTube channel. And also, going to start having a hashtag um, for across across all the social media. Um, so you know, if you hashtag Tatty Treasure, um, either on YouTube, Instagram, or well, Facebook, it'd be in the group, wouldn't it? So, yeah, um, Instagram or YouTube. Um, yeah, if you hashtag it, I shall be able to, to find it and I could create um, a playlist. So, I think that is all, all the pockets, pockets in. Yeah. So, when we come back uh, tomorrow, it'll be um, decorating it up a little bit. Um, and getting the rest of the ephemera in and thinking about the front now I'd already obviously thought about the closure that I was having um, and mine's going to be the lace is going to be down there and underneath the lace is going to be the seam binding um, I'm just pulling that one out like this one so the seam binding is actually under under the lace. So once you undo it, you know, you're not going to 
um, this is going to come come off. So, you know, if you wanted to have put an eyelet in, then it's like <laughs> you can't have these um, at, at the side, um, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, it normally leaves you with doing it that way or just tying something around it. Um, if I wasn't putting a little signature in there, I would have possibly put the envelope flap underneath there and had them go in that way and that one go in that way and then it would have left these two sides with nothing there and then I could have had an eyelet and tied it together so that's something you know to think about before um, you start start a project um, your closure and if you're going to put a a book plate on <laughs> that's important too so i'm gonna go and wash my hands um and yeah we'll carry carry on tomorrow um where's my ephemera for that one so we've done we've done well so yeah it's like really quite late here it, it has took um all day as you can can imagine <laughs> so i've enjoyed it um and they're gonna look wonderful so they're quite quite different i've picked quite different pictures i think we've got that one and um we've got got that one so this one's become and this one's dream and i need to find a nice um i won't say message but um a nice word i mean becomes not a great word if you just think become but if you you know become it's going to become something which means it could be anything. Anyway, I'm um, <laughs> going into waffle mode. So that's that's those. Um, and yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and, and finish these off. So thank you very much for, for joining me. Uh, like I say, any questions or anything, just put them in, in the description. And like I say, I will put everything uh, down below in the description. If you do miss anything out, then <clears throat> uh, just, just ask. And uh, yeah, I'll see you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.